Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dub here. I'm back with another tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the effect that I use at the end of most of my edits. I'll put a few examples up on screen now, so you can see what the effect looks like, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, now that we're in DaVinci, you can use this effect as a transition, or more commonly how I like to use it is to put it at the end of my edit. So, as you can see here, this is right at the last beat drop, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's just a hard cut. So what you're gonna wanna do for this effect is to grab an adjustment clip and move it back one frame from the end. You can do that with your arrow keys by hitting left. So once we're back one frame, you're gonna drag this over to here and just split the clip. For me, I have it key binded to B and then you can delete the second part of the adjustment clip that gets separated. Once you do that with your adjustment clip, what you're gonna wanna do is right click on the clip and click open in fusion page. Once we're in the fusion page, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have the media in one selected and hit shift space on your keyboard to open the effect inspector. And then you're gonna wanna look up the transform effect. You're gonna wanna add this effect. Next, you're gonna wanna add an effect called directional blur. You wanna use the one with the DRBI. And then after you get that one in, then you're gonna add a blur node. Once you have all three of these nodes, we're going to go to our transform node and then go to the center selector. And what you're going to want to do is make sure that the image is half of the screen that is being filled. So depending on the direction you want the offset to go, it can either go left or right. For this tutorial, I'm going to go to the right, but you can also go vertically on the Y axis. So I'm just going to move this to the right until it's about in the center, as you can see there. And after we do that, you're going to want to go down to the edges control and change it from canvas to mirror. And once you have it on mirror, then we can go to our directional blur. Once you're in your directional blur, go to the length effect. And this depends on the direction that you're moving it. So if you're going right, you'll want to move it to the right. So then the motion blur goes from the right to the left. Or if you're going to the left, then you do it the other direction as well. And if you're doing it vertically, you can choose a length. Or you can change the angle so that it is going on the y-axis vertically or horizontally. But for me, I'm going to keep it set on 0. And I'm just going to keep the length at 0 0.1. And after you do that... You're going to want to go to the blur node and move the blur slider until the side right here that is showing the weird edges is not visible. So for me, around 10 does it. And now that you've done that, you should have your offset framer. But something I like to do as a precaution is sometimes the fusion cache can be a little bit weird inside of the edit page as well. So what I like to do is go to my effects. If you open this, you will have the drop down in case you don't have this right here. And then you're going to want to go into the search bar right here. Make sure you have toolbox selected and search for a solid color. For me, I have have it favorited so it's right down here you can do that by clicking the little star but you're just going to want to select this and drag it to the right of the adjustment clip so once you have it here you're going to want to do the same thing and hit the arrow key to the right and after you do that you just want to split it and then delete it and you want to leave it as a black frame so now that you've done that this should be your result and there you go. That's how to make an offset framer. And I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you guys want more tutorials from me, make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.